Hi there, it's Mr. Graham, and in this video we're going to look at rounding to the nearest 10,000. So we've got our value on the screen in black, and we've got the instruction in red also on the screen to round to the nearest 10,000. Now as always, we're going to quickly put the place value columns against our value. Does it have a decimal? No. So the last digit is my units. Let's add on all the remaining place value columns and we're rounding to the nearest 10,000 this time so the first thing I need to do is identify my 10 of thousand column tens of thousands and let's circle it and there we go now as we'll know from the other videos and if you haven't watched them make sure you watch the videos on how to round to the nearest 10 100 and a thousand before you watch this video We've identified our tens of thousands column because we're rounding to the nearest 10,000. As before in all the previous videos, we're now looking at the column that comes immediately after it. The column that comes immediately after it this time is our thousands, the green arrow is showing you. And in the thousands column, we've got a, a one this time. Now we know that if we've got a zero or a one or a two or a three or a four, we round down, and if we've got a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, or a 9, we round up. Let's go back to that column, the column that comes after, and again it's the thousands, there it is. We've got a 1. We can see if we've got a 1, we round down. That means that we're not going to go to 60,000, we're going to stay at 50,000. We're getting rid of this 1,863 and we're rounding down to 50,000 on the nose. 50,000 exactly. And this is where a lot of children actually get confused because when they round down, they think they have to actually change it and would end up with an answer 40,000 instead of 50,000. The reason we don't change the digit is because when we round down, we're actually getting rid of this 1,863. And that's what we're doing when we round down. Let's look at the second method, the number line method. 51,863. 51,863 to the nearest... 10,000. Place value columns on quickly. There we go. Now, in this method, we're rounding to the nearest 10,000. So we look at the 10, oh, we're rounding to the nearest 10,000. So we look at the tens of thousands column and everything that comes after. And everything that comes after. Well, it's the whole number, really, isn't it, in this case? So we've got 51,863. Which two tens of thousands is it in between? The two tens of thousands that it's in between are 50,000. And then the next tens of thousand is 60,000. Now, what value is exactly in the middle of 50,000 and 60,000? Well, exactly in the middle of 50 and 60 is 55, but it's 55,000, of course, because we're dealing with thousands here. Now, let's go back to the number we were given, 51,863. If we look at the number line at the bottom, we can see that 51,863 is much closer to 50,000 than it is to 55,000. So we're going to place it on the number line. It's much closer, so it's probably somewhere about there. And again, it doesn't have to be precise, as long as you're in the right sort of area, which we are. Let's add it on. And we're in the right sort of area because exactly in the middle where the arrow is would be 52,500. So we're just a bit less than that, which is great. Now, as you can see from the number line, clearly we're much closer here to 50,000 then we are to 60,000 so that gives us an answer round into the nearest 10,000 our answer is 50,000 now if we go back and check the previous the previous method our answer was 50,000 
and in the number line method you can see we've got exactly the same answer of 50,000 now we're kind of getting to the stage where um, if you've watched all the videos you'll probably have a method that you prefer by now I personally think that for rounding to the smaller numbers, like rounding to the nearest 10 or the nearest 100, or maybe even the nearest 1000, then the first method is quicker and it's easier. I think perhaps with some of the bigger numbers, when you round into the nearest 10,000 or the nearest 100,000, then sometimes this number line method can be more valuable and more beneficial, even though it is a slower method. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.